Hey guys, Bill, the Kansas Flamingo Chef. Welcome back to another edition of Flock Tales, and I'm going to make something weird. I know it's weird, so if you're going to comment on here that's weird, that's fine. Just know that I know that it's weird. So I'm going to make a martini, but not the normal way. Now I am going to use a martini glass, and I am going to use vodka. But that's about where this ends. Well, I mean, I'm going to stir it, so there's that. But that's about where the normal of this ends. Because I'm going to make it with coffee. And I'm going to use Guinness beer. And I'm also going to use some cream de cacao. Yeah, I know. It seems weird. Oh, yeah, I left one out. I'm also going to use some dark rum. Like I said, it's going to get weird. So I'm going to start with an ounce and a half of Myers Dark Rum. It is my favorite rum. It's not expensive, but man, is it good. I'm also going to add to that, as soon as I find it, three quarters of an ounce. Now, you can use any flavor you want, but I like this. This is Starbucks, and I know I'm not a fan of Starbucks, but I like this product. This is cold brew vanilla sweet cream. Now, if you want to use your own cold brew coffee, feel free, or a different flavor, whatever. But I'm going to add three quarters of an ounce of that. And then I'm going to put in vodka. And we're going to add three quarters of an ounce of vodka. And again, it really doesn't matter what kind of vodka. I'm using absolute, you know, I'm... I'm not going to break out the Tito's. Ugh. All right. Then we're going to add some cream de cacao. Now, they make this in clear and also in dark. I like the dark, but you can, it, it tastes about the same. Three quarters of an ounce of this. And then I'm going to take this Guinness, and I'm going to add about, oh, about three ounces, and yeah, this is a lot, this really makes two drinks. Now I'm just going to stir this until it all gets nice and cold, if you like coffee, you're going to love this, and then we're going to take martini glass. Strain it. Now I've got two of them here. This recipe will make two drinks. If you want to cut it in half to make one, be my guest. But if you like coffee and you start drinking this, you're going to want a second one. Oh my goodness, that is incredible. The Guinness Martini. Until next time, like, share, and subscribe. Comment and let me know if there's something you'd like me to make. Bill at KansasFlamingoChef.com. Eat and drink fabulous. I'll see you next time.